Let's see what we got here. Look like a uh, guy just now uh, spun out. Uh, we're gonna make contact with him and uh, see what's his deal. What's his, what he's got going on? One twenty direct. Passenger stand, driver uh, exit the vehicle. How you doing, my man? Where you going? Look, I'm over here, big dog. Come here. All right, stand right here, man. Officer oh, Payne with the Lafayette City Police Department, all right? Yeah, they You got your driving license? I don't have anything on You don't on have me. anything on I just took on? me and my, my baby mama and my uh, newborn son to the store. OK. Where are you from? I'm from Baton Rouge. You're from Baton Rouge? <laughs> but I've been here for right. six years. All right, I need you to lean right here. Stay here, OK? Uh, What's your name, man? Yeah. Desmond. And where are you originally from? I'm originally from Mississippi. What's your date of birth? Well, you just told me somewhere else. You told me you was originally from uh, Baton Rouge. Ooh. Your baby mama is going to the room to get your wallet so we can see who you are. OK. You don't have a driving license? I don't have No, sir. So you're driving a car with no driving license? Oh, uh, yeah. OK. You realize in the state of Louisiana, it is against the law not to present an ID to a police officer when he's lawfully asking you for one, right? Well, yeah. Yes, sir. And I'm I... running you through a nationwide system that says you don't need Desmond. I ain't exist. never been in trouble before. That's what I'm telling okay. you. Well, you don't have to be in trouble to exist. Yeah, I ain't never been You don't have to be in trouble. Stopped. I ain't never been. You I'm ever had a driver's man. license? No. Jessica, where she comes in the picture at? How he know her? Who? That's my friend. Girl. Real girlfriend? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes that's your real girlfriend? Bye. And what about him? He's your boyfriend? So you mean to tell me you got a girlfriend and a boyfriend? Yeah. So you balling like that? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, all right. Uh, all right. ID may be in his other car, his road mask. OK. That's going to go look for it? OK. What you been arrested before for? Be honest with me. I mean, I, I've been arrested in Baton Rouge, but out here, nothing. For what, Baton Rouge? Mm. Come on now, be honest with me. I don't want to talk about it. Huh? If you ask people, you'll know, like, um... Prostitution? Yeah. All right. That's it? What's your credit card? Prostitution? Yeah, that's all. OK, then. Y'all have a good one. Y'all be careful out here, OK? You too. I'll all right. They, uh, we located a uh, broad master that belongs to him that has crack in it. They're going to go in and get it. And he's going to be charged with it as soon as we find out who he is. All right, uh, who your name? Let me ask you a question, man. OK, this is what I'm trying to find out. In, in, in my years of police work, I've known what prostitute clothes look like. And, and each girl had prostitution clothes. The white girl was arrested for prostitution at one time. Is, is Jessica uh, prostituting too? That's your room, master. OK, you drove it here, you parked it back there and everything. No, it broke down there. OK, how long it been parked there? <laughs> All right. That's Nothing your too. All right. I'm just making sure that's your road map. Oh, you can look at the title and all that. And so I can go in and get everything. You can look all right. In, in all that. Okay, thank you very much. Claims this uh Buick Roadmaster to be his and apparently there's a significant amount of crack cocaine in Shannon, what we did was uh, the crack was in plain view, removed the crack, he indicated it was his car, he parked it here, it comes back to him, so uh we're gonna, he's gonna be charged with uh, possession of intent to distribute crack cocaine uh, once we find out who in the world we he is. we find out who he is or no? Let's go take him to APHIS and get him printed. All right. And what we do in charge, we're gonna take the other guy, take him to APHIS, find out who he is, charge him with his crack, and uh, we're gonna be done with that. We're gonna head to APHIS, so. It's a national database for fingerprinting. It doesn't matter if he's been arrested in Wyoming, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, it's gonna pop up with a picture of him, and it's gonna tell you exactly What's his name? He's coming up under two names in the computer. We found him under the other name, too. That's him. Uh -uh. Oh, no. Ooh. Aphis has confirmed his identity, and it is not the name he's been given. Listen. Yeah. You gave us permission to go in the vehicle right. and get the stuff out of the vehicle. Right. OK. As we're going into the vehicle, right. in plain view right. on the vehicle, in the armrest right. was about four or five pieces of crack cocaine. OK, so you're getting arrested for crack cocaine no, sir. and marijuana. But that okay. truck is not my, it's, 
It's not in my name. Listen, talk to the judge. Why didn't you stop when you were told to? I just came right around the corner. I was about to head on. I have drank too much. What did I do to get my legs trapped? Will you tell me? Why don't you tell me? No, stop! We're going to go stake out an area. Uh, supposedly, one of our witnesses here has said that his friend, who's just freshly stolen a car, is coming to pick him up. So we're going to wait in the area. As soon as he picks him up, we're going to try to swoop in and snatch him up. Yeah, we have a call right now. He's on the uh, front side of the public plaza right now. He's not coming out on 520. Okay, our air unit's following the uh, the suspect vehicle right now, and we're going to hang back a little bit so as we don't spook him. We're kind of waiting to see where he parks, and we're going to try to get up on him. Okay, he's going to the uh, west side of the mall, west side of the movie theater right now. Anybody got some mall entrances with stop sticks? Right. He knows that he's parking. What do you want to do? All right. Move in. He's at Sears, south side. All right, they're taking him down right now. 2651. Want me to orbit? Can yeah, I orbit? Yeah, hold what you got, yep. I'll hold what I got. 721 from the north side. All right, he stopped. He's running right now. He's running. What's this in? Okay. Direction. He's running westbound. Run right into us. Run right into us. We got him. Hang on. Guns, knives, bombs, or anything else on your person right now? No. Yes or no? no? Where's the other guy in a black shirt? I didn't see another guy. Was there another guy with you? No. What? Who? No. What's your name there, partner? What? Josh. What? Josh. Josh? Yeah. We're going to stand up. You understand me? You ready? Get up. Okay, turn around and look at me. Hang on, hang on, guys. Hang on. Is your car here? Have a seat there, partner. What exactly was going on today? I don't know, it's been a long day. A long day? What was the deal with the car and the running and all that stuff? I was being chased, so I ran. You were being chased? Who was chasing you? The gray car. Well, they not chasing me, they was following me. Uh-huh. Why, uh, wh why'd you think they were following you? I didn't think so at first, then I knew he was. Uh-huh. At first, I wasn't sure if he was, and then... So you just, uh, I wasn't what? planning on running, it just ended up that way. This is a long way to go to not plan on running. Josh, look at me. What is going on? Nothing? Okay. Um, basically, at this point, we're going to bring you up to the precinct, and uh, our detective's gonna talk to you a little bit. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I, I assure you, whatever's going on, we're going to uh, get to the bottom of all of it. So you up there? Okay. So this is stuff you already got out of the uh, out of the car. Yeah. yeah. Where? This uh, the back seat. This was in the front seat. Okay. So we're probably looking at somebody's stolen stuff and these uh, radios. I don't know if you guys heard about it on your shift, but we had a bunch of uh, car burglaries in the mall where they've been using these two-way radios. That's we managed right, to get right. on one of their frequencies and listen to them. We weren't able to catch them. So it looks like this is probably at least one of the two guys that were doing that. So this is, this is a good hit for us because we get this guy with a stolen car, we get all the property, and it looks like we probably have solved the, uh, the, the car burglaries here. Black male fighting, right at the unknown of any weapons. All right, we're going to a fight call. Uh, there's some people fighting in the middle of the street, and uh, looks like there's a group over here. One of the guys got his shirt off, and looks like he's involved in the fight. So we're going to go uh, talk to him, see what's going on, and make sure everybody's okay. 
It's the Lombardo Speedo, right? Yeah, that's it. I think they went southbound. That one kid has his shirt off. We'll go talk to them. Hey, hold up a second, man. Okay, don't walk away like that. Hold on. Hey, hey. But that's still not okay, me. Okay, no, no, no. You need no, to... that's not. That's still not me, bro. Five, six, five, one, foot pursuit. Northbound on us. We go from Dungeon and Blackmail. Shorts. Taser deployed, not effective. Stop! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! Five, six, five, six, five, we got it. Stop! Stop resisting! Hold on, your cord's stuck. Try me. Try me. Stop Are you gonna stop resisting? resisting? Are you gonna stop? I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I got, I got, I got this one. Right. Hit me from this one. Hey. Roll him over on his stomach. It's not me who you're using for. Let go, Hazer. Hazer. I'm not doing Let go, I'm going smack you. I'm not doing anything. Watch out, watch out. Get him. Ah. Get him. Get him. Ah, you guys in me. Get him. Oh. Get him. Get your arm behind Get your back. Get your arm behind your back. Ah. Ah. You're hurting me. Put it behind your back. You're hurting me. Get his other arm. Get his other arm left. Ah. You're hurting me. I'm not doing anything. Stop, I'm not doing stop anything. resisting. Hey, watch stop watch resisting. Watch. resisting. Are you high on something right now, man? Just let go, all right? Put your hands behind your back. Relax. You're hurting me. You're not going to get hurt if you just relax, you all right? Hurt me. Relax. You already hurt me. There you go. Just put your hands behind. There you go. Just relax, man. I'm not the guy. Seriously. Yeah, you are. Relax. I'm not relaxing. Relax. 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 I'm relaxing. You relax, we can take care of our business. It's true, it works. You're a lot calmer. He's high on something. I know why he's high on that. All right, we got, we got uh, initial inventory so we can get him up. Ready? Yep. Pull your knees towards your chest. Pull your knees towards your chest. Pull your knees towards your chest. Tuck your knees towards your chest. Tuck your knees towards your chest. You can get up, dude. You got me in restraints. I haven't grabbed my rights. Pull your knees towards your chest. Robert, you haven't even grabbed me my rights. Robert, you have the right to remain silent. Oh, too late. Anything you say I'm already doesn't matter. We're not asking questions. We're giving you directions. So I'm pull your knees towards your chest. I'm already in restraints. Pull your knees towards your chest. I'm already in Pull your knees towards your chest. Otherwise, we're just going to pick you up. You're arresting me. You're so telling me what I'm not. Sorry, Bob. Sir, you shouldn't be resisting arrest. Get I'm not resisting arrest. What am I being arrested for? Disorderly contact, escape, escape fail to bail off order a peace officer, or interfering with a peace officer is more commonly known. You're also under arrest for resisting arrest presently. You have a right to my rights. Would you like to hear your rights now, sir? No, you're too late. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against your court of law. Too you have late. right to attorney have one present. Too late. I haven't did anything. You if don't you know nothing, man. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed for it you. It doesn't no matter. Part. Do you understand these it rights? It doesn't sir? matter. No, you're too late. You, you put me in restraints and, and cuff me without reading me my rights. We don't have to read you your rights. Yes, you do. You, you got to well, read me my sir, rights. I'm sorry if you think that that's the way the law works. That I is. know how the law works. All right. It is our guy from earlier. He might have run because he's also wanted on an assault two deal and a fail to register as a sex offender. So that's probably why he took off. And it, it's him. I mean, he's got a pending assault two case on that they need to interview with detectives for. He's got a warrant for his arrest. We're going to a uh, traffic unit on a motorcycle is trying to pull over a drunk driver who's refusing to stop. He's activated his lights and sirens. He's not stopping it. So we're going to head that way to assist them. OK, I see the, I see the car coming this way. The car's coming this way. It's about to pass us. Okay, we're going to flip a U-turn up here, head back, and follow the vehicle from a distance. Air 5, I copy. Do you have that vehicle in sight? If there's any unit continuing code, discontinue code. Air 5 has sighted the vehicle. I think that's enough here. Copy. No units in pursuit. Okay, we're not we're not in pursuit right now. This car just refuses to stop. 
Yeah. Our policy doesn't uh, allow us to pursue it. He's extremely so drunk, doesn't seem to want to stop. So we'll follow from a distance for a little while, and uh, hopefully she'll stop and this will come to a peaceful conclusion and nobody will be hurt. Control 191, the vehicle just hit an orange cone on the side of Terrible's Casino. We're still eastbound on Flamingo. We'd like to intercept this car before it heads toward Las Vegas Boulevard, where there's a lot of pedestrian traffic, and we'd hate to have a drunk driver on Las Vegas Boulevard. That's not going to be good. And uh, we're still going. Right, listen, to get off to it now. We're all, uh, we're all shut down. Right, listen, listen. All right, she's taking a right turn, taking a right turn onto Swenson. She's about a quarter mile ahead of me. There's a, a few motorcycle officers behind me and another patrol unit uh, right over to the left of me. Mel, give the car some distance. Give the car some distance, Mel. What was the last traffic? Yeah, they wanted to try to fit the vehicle your call sign. She's going about 37, 38 miles an hour. Uh, Good. The, the other unit just initiated a pursuit a mobilization technique called the pit. Come out of the car, miss. Good job, man. Ma'am, stay right there, all right? You endangered so many people. Why would you not stop? The police were behind you. Why would you not stop? Scared. What are you running from? Uh, do you have any warrants? No, I don't have no warrants. Have you been drinking? Well, let me, you know what you just did to yourself? Now you're going to go to jail, definitely. All right? You get medical attention? Okay. Listen, but I know the officer explained it. You understand? I was kind of dangerous to do that. You put a lot of people in danger. There's really no reason for that. You seem like a nice young lady, but we got to do what we have to do. You understand that? Right? I understand that. All right, I have no okay. All right, that. I'm just going to have you ha stand here for a few minutes. And you really endangered his life on a motorcycle. Really? I'm just asking, what, what have the police done to you that you're afraid? No, I, just, I never been stopped before. I, I didn't want to have a bad record. You've never been stopped by the police before? Never. That's so you figured time. your first time you should run? <laughs> in a way, kind of like that. Not totally like that. But like I said, you just bought yourself a ticket to go to jail now for doing that. That was really not a smart move. I understand that. Okay. Do me a favor, just stand right here on the side of the patrol car. Next to your beer. I really think she didn't this car. Hey, Melanie? Melanie? You, you were right behind the car and I was right behind you. Yes. So you just decided the car was going, what, 39, 38 miles an hour? Yes, moving in and out. She ran about eight traffic lights. She would have killed somebody, I think, if she kept Absolutely. going. Absolutely. Well, I was concerned she was going to go towards the strip. So now the traffic units are going to give her a field sobriety test or a breath test right here on the scene. She's uh, most likely going to be booked for uh, driving under the influence, obstructing, and I'm sure a bunch of other traffic violations for failing to stop. I already opened it. Right, come on, let's go. Come on, miss. I'm going to go right? sit here in the back of the car, okay? Right, come on over. Okay? You feeling all right? Okay, listen, uh, this is your first time going to jail. Uh, I know it's not going to be the most pleasant experience, but listen, all you got to do is listen to what they tell you there, follow the rules, and you'll be out probably within a day or two. It's not going to take too long, okay? All right, so we want you to sit down, huh? And thank you for being so cooperative. Remember, it's your first time in jail, so it's not going to be that bad, okay? Just listen to what they have to tell you, and uh, it'll be over. Okay, thank you. He currently has a nice call and is sitting in a gray 2002 F-150 that's parked in the driveway. One of my B partners is at the attempt suicide right now. He is at uh, on scene with the subject. The subject has a knife in the car, and we're rolling to uh, 311 reference uh, the pepper ball. Fifteen ninety-seven. Give us minimum. Okay. Rear 15, we're going to be code 4 on San Hold on, hold on. Don't.
Don't. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Put them behind your back. I'm not going to tell you again. Get down to your knees. Get down to your knees. Now. Oh, my God. Put your hands behind your back. Now you know what? Go down your stomach. Go down All the way. Stomach. All the way on your stomach. Just come up and push him over. Come up and push him over. <clears throat> Go down to your stomach. Go down to your stomach. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put them back. Put the other one back. Put your hands behind your back. Put the other one back. Now, put the other one back. You're going to get sprayed. Put the other one back. 15. We're physical right now. Just hang on. Give me another cuff. All right, 15, we get the cuffs on him, we're code four. No knife hard feelings, all right? Where's your knife? Under the feet. Okay. You wanna go look? Yeah. But I just want attention. Just want attention? Yeah. Well, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, did he threaten anybody with a knife or just walk out with it, or no, what happened? He, he just walked in, and then when I seen it, he just got into the truck. Okay. And then that's when I was trying to talk to him. I said, you know what, just give me the knife and go inside and go to sleep. Nobody's trying to argue with you. OK. But he wouldn't listen, and he started pounding. So I told my brother, you know what? He started pounding? Like pounding on the chair, you know? I don't okay. know what the knife or I don't know what. I OK. See. He just wanted to leave in the truck. Yeah, and we don't want him to, because either he's going to hurt himself. It's understandable. Well, what's going to happen is uh, we'll, we'll, get him, uh, we'll get him down to the hospital, and we'll get him evaluated. Um, is anything going on right now in his life, uh, any kind of death in the family? No, I no, just, I'm, I'm thinking it's just like a lot of stress, like bills wise with this okay. house maybe. All right, thank you guys. All right, Jose, is there a reason why you're fighting with us? No, I was just fighting. Felt like it was time to go or what? No, no, no. Okay. All right, no problem. My partner explained to you what's going to happen, right? No. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we're going to take you down and get you evaluated, okay, with what's going on, all right? You've got a lot of stress on you right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's what we're here for, man. We're here to help you, okay? So next time, don't fight with us. Just just go along with us, okay? I'm fighting. That's okay. Don't worry about it, all right? All right. It happens. Right. It happens, okay? okay? We don't take it personal. We're just here to help you out. That's all we're worried about, okay? okay? All right. All right, you're not uh, under arrest. Okay. All right. Okay. You, the, the left one is a little bit too tight. Okay, we'll, we'll get you as soon as we get you up here, okay? okay. Come on, pull your knee in. There you go. Uh-huh. Ready? All right, we'll get you in just a second, okay? Just stand up against the car here, and we'll get you. This one right here is too tight. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Am I better? Yeah, thank you. All right, try to have a seat in there best you can, all right? Watch your head. We'll get him some help, and uh, hopefully he'll be doing better with his life. We got a call, female causing a disturbance in an address down here. By premise history, there may be a uh, injunction, trespass warning, something like that, but we can't be sure because we don't, we don't have any names really at this point. You sharing? Yes. Okay. You got any idea on you sharing? Yes, I do. Is there a, there a uh, trespass warning or something for you here? Be careful now. How much you had to drink tonight? A little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Uh, you still live on Eagle? Yeah. I live in the woods. What? You live in the woods? Where I come, brother. Do me a favor, Sharon. Sit right down on this right here. Just sit right down there for me, please. She's still over in my yard throwing beer cans at me and everything else. And I'm like, then she's hitting my old lady with beer cans and everything else. And I'm like, I looked over here and I'm like, what? So I rode my lawnmower back over here. Next thing you know, she's... All right, she tore the fence down? I literally watched her tear it down. We're all facing the street right here. All right. Yeah. You want to press charge for criminal yeah. mischief? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. Yes, right, I do, you fill out a statement saying that you saw her do this and that's what yeah. she did? Yes, I will. All right, let me get some paperwork together. I am reading we'll right, right fluently. All right, be right back with you, all right? Not a problem. Why'd you tear the fence down? Well, I tear the fence down? Yeah. I might hurt. I don't tell no one. That bitch did this, bitch. I didn't never do that. You didn't My do that? Life. You didn't she do that? She did that with Who's a car it? and a truck. She did it with a car? I don't know. That's what they told me. Okay. Well, Sit tight, Sharon. Stupid. 
What kind of restraining order did you get? out of my house. I'm mean, out of my yard, away from me, 500 feet, whatever, you know. She rides by okay, here. Okay, but you didn't actually go down to the courthouse and apply for one and everything? No. Because we don't have any record of a oh, trespass man. warning being issued for here or anything. We, she's got one down the street, but no, Jeez. for here. But we'll oh, make sure my. she has that. Yay! Sure. Yay! Yay! Hey, well, I, yeah, you ready for him? Sit down. Sit down. Are you ready for him? Sit down. That's his house. You need to sit he down. He lives in my listen, house. Listen to me. You need to sit down. You need to sit, down. You need to sit down, down and chill out. Why are you sitting there and getting my eye, mate? What's going on, big dog? Well, I'd say, if nothing else, we got disorder. I'll get Rick out here. Okay. Get Rick out here. I, I, th Rick. I think you could probably come up no, it's no problem. with that one. Rick. Right. Um, yeah, he's laughing. What'd I tell you? Okay. Hey, you got to come out there. Look at what he's doing. Stand up. He's got, he's got my boxes, man. He's in my box. He's in my box. Hey, you got to come out there. Look at what he's doing. He's in my box. Come on. He takes my Okay. Well, you won't sit down and you won't listen, so now you're going to be put in cuffs, okay? Uh, now he's in cuffs. You know what? You're dying. You slut. Rick. If you don't sit still, you're getting a perk. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You Go bet ahead. me. You laughing? You laughing? I'm laughing. I'm gonna kill you. No way. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. No. Get out of those cups. Their, their hands are small. Do you, I got let me get, get my Smith cups hurt. right there. I ain't gonna hurt get, get my Smith cups. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ain't gonna, please. You got her, Bob? Yeah, I got, I got, small, I got smaller you size cups. I'm gonna do that. I love my little cup. I never hurt you. Believe my heart. I'm an officer. Right here. Relax, Sharon. I never hurt nobody. Relax. Relax. Don't. Relax. You, Ben, and me, and you, and you, what are you? Yeah, that's right, you, Ben. Stop trying you to kick. No, Keep your mouth nobody. shut. You face. Hush. I know. Excuse me. OK, Sharon, let's step up like a lady. No, those are balls. Step up. That's it. All the way. All the way. One, two, three. Let's go. OK, I'm going to walk to the back seat. Relax. Excuse me. Sharon, sit down. Hey. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. Put your feet in now. Yeah, bro. I got to breathe. I hate Jack. I hate Jack. Her wrist like that. My, my small cuffs were no. all the way to the last notch. So living in the woods will do that to you. Okay, we're en route to the area of uh, Emerald Boulevard and Mirror reference a citizen following an intoxicated driver. Tack 40, that subject's already missing a tire, and he just turned around to go back west, or yeah, westbound, and I'll be behind him in just a second. We got a DUI that's got obviously got a wheel out still. Tack 40 there's traveling westbound again. Looks like they're pulling through the cattlemen's. Okay, they're gonna be in the alley, and it looks like he's wanting to maybe run. Tack 40 with their stop behind a cattleman. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Wait, I didn't do anything. Ow! Back here. Ow, what did I do? Why didn't you stop when you were told to? Well, I didn't know I was told to. Ow, 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 please. Let's make sure that's clear. I was told to. I was right here in the parking lot. Well, what do you think the lights and the siren Wait, I mean? I left right here in the parking lot. I didn't know. <laughs> I came around the corner and that was it. All right, gal, turn around. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. Sit up wait. here. Sit up here. I'll get you up, okay? Wait, I came around the parking lot and okay. that was it. Come on, worry. You stand up. Got it? Okay. She on. How much you had drink tonight? I didn't have maybe four or five. Just four or five? Yeah, I came right out of the 
Did you know your wheel was blown in the front there? What's your head? You're driving with sparks out and all that? No, I didn't. Driving a little funny? I, I just came right around the corner. I didn't even know. Okay, you about caused a big wreck right there on the boulevard? I didn't even go out on the boulevard. How did I cause a wreck? Yes, ma'am, you did. You shot a U right there on that bridge. No, I did not. I came right here on the... Okay. I mean, honestly, and yeah, you... I've been drinking a little bit, okay. and I deserve to And then to you took off. It looked like you were going to run from us. You took no, off, I'm and you right shot here. a U. And... I, I did not leave here. I I was right here drinking with okay. a friend of mine. Where I were you drinking? God. Where? At? Where? Right here at the Cattleman's. Where are you? Yes. Well, it looked to me like you was going to run, like you was trying to run there for a little Why bit. Why would I run? I was right here. I don't know. You tell me. Why don't you tell me? Okay. Well, we'll be with you in a second, hon, okay? Oh. You were the one that was behind him? Yes, I was the 911 that called. You, okay. And where did you start following her from? Uh, from the McDonald's over there by Buchanan. Okay. And she had gone into Whataburger, uh -huh. and her tire was blown in, and she went through Whataburger, came back around, and then came back down the wrong way and was about to head on. And then she pulled in behind us and then passed us. But it that was, tire was like that when it left? When it was over on Whataburger, she's been a gouging all the way down. Man, that's the boulevard sparks going thirty everywhere. something blocks. Yeah, wow. I mean it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Arrest me, take me home, let my mom get me. No, I want to go home, y'all. Kept me here. My arms are bleeding. I told y'all. No, stop! Hey, I told you. Listen, get your feet back. No, listen. Let's uh, let's let's strap her legs listen. in. She's gonna kick a window. I told y'all. Yes, I was drunk. I wanted y'all to call my mom. I did. I was drunk. I wanted y'all to call my mom. I have drank too much. I know I drank too much. You wanna strap me up here? Go ahead. Now sit down. No, go sit ahead. Now go ahead. Here, put them on. Sit down. Oh, what? You only good enough to strap my legs? Go ahead. That's all I need to do. What did I do to get my legs strapped? What did I do to get my legs strapped? It's to prevent you from doing something. It's to prevent you from doing something. It doesn't take that long. Come on. That could have been a serious accident, sure enough. Got a subject that snatched somebody's chain, and then he hung up. He says he has them on the ground, 27 and 9th Street. Check 27 Terrace. And yep, 27 and 9th. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. That's it. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Flip over. Flip over. I got the hand. I got the hand. Put your hand on your back. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Huh? Does he snatch the boy chain? Can he snatch it? Yeah, he me back. That's how I run. Yeah. Good. Hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. How many guys snatch your necklace? I see one, but another guy still me. It's the busy stop, busy first. The bus stop? Six, yeah. What's, okay. What's what did he look like? He look, I, I don't see. I just see him, and after I, I run so because I mean, he's still with us. When I run, oh, four. It's going to be two subjects. The one we have detained now, white tank top, black shorts, took the necklace. There's another one at large with the money. Okay, there is another guy who should be in possession of you okay? Yeah, yeah, you with you? Randy, second. This, um, this, this, who he snatched, right? Is is he, they were at the bus family stop family name. How, how, how you got it back from him? Let me snatch it. You, you chased them? You yeah, chased them? Okay. Madison, okay. Large, okay, good, good, good. Possession of cash. A witness is going to come and identify the suspect. Turn around here. Stand right here. And face that direction. Okay. Have a seat in the car. Positive identification. Okay, you saw a white guy chasing the black yeah, guy? Yeah, I out for some way. It seemed like he jumped on the city bus or something. Okay. But I, I wasn't too sure he came from the city bus, but he coming from the side, though. Okay. Wait, 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 you ran to where? Here? Or yeah, come to, come to here, come to here. And I, I was coming this way, and I go to there, and the government was right there. He ran this way, so I jumped on him right there. And I called him, then I called 911. Okay, you saw, did you see the other guy who ran with the money? You no, I didn't see. Uh, okay, you just took after this guy? I just, this guy, this guy. He, he was following him, so I know where he's going to be following in the neighborhood because he's a white boy in the neighborhood. So I just tried to go help him, no? No, you did a good job. Thanks, I appreciate it, man. Sir, what, so what happened, basically? I, I go in the bus. You went in the bus? I went in the bus, and I, I, I stop. I went here, yeah, and uh, a man still me. Uh, a guy grabbed, okay. He grab. After you're going to run, I go run after because it's really, it's my Really problem. important, your family here alone? And I run, but it's open, and my money... Your money fell, fell out? Fell uh, on the floor, and after I run here... Right. This man helped me... This guy right here? Yeah, he okay. helped me to, uh, to uh, stop the man. Okay. He, he gave me this... Uh, he, 
put on the floor. Right. This man run after and stop and call you. Okay. Where are you from? France, Paris. France, Paris. Well, the good thing is you got your family here alone. My family name is uh, G. Uh, G. Okay. And all my family are the same. Jeff did. Yes. Okay. Very good. We still work on the other guy with your money. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got that. That's irresponsible. I mean, that's your family heirloom. It's just a necklace and it's plastic. I don't care, but Joseph, who's who's else with you, man? No, I'm asking you because you can try to help yourself out. Who else was with you? Somebody ran out of that store. Who ran out of the store? I don't know. He was a little bit taller than me. A little bit taller. Built more built than me. After he ran out of the store, I heard that. That boy, he, he was saying something, I don't know what language it was. Okay. And I seen him chasing me, so I ran. Okay. Because usually when you're around here and somebody chasing you, you better run. So what's chasing you? The boy in a hat. The boy in a hat? Yeah. You never seen him before? Never in my life. Okay, and he just started chasing you for no reason? I don't know, I guess he got me mixed up with the man that ran and me, but if I wouldn't have ran, I don't know what no he was, so I ran. Okay, but the guy's bigger than you, you said? Yeah. Okay, no tats? I don't know, I couldn't see. Honestly, I don't know what he was trying to say to me, because he was saying it, I don't know, I think he Latin or something. Okay. Sounded like French. Okay. All right, let's take a deep breath for like, calm down, okay? You got, you got AC going there. Who gave you back your necklace? Uh, no, I, uh, it grew up on the floor. Who, who threw it on the ground? Okay. Who, who, threw, who threw the chain on the ground? This guy. Oh, this guy threw it in yeah, the chunk? Because, okay. Because uh, I run, I run, and after he can go more far. He couldn't go any far, okay. And I, I want to take, I take, and men with a car run after this guy. And okay, so then he tossed, the, he tossed the necklace out. Yeah. Then Samarin stops his car. The guy realizes the gig's up. He throws down the necklace and takes off running again. The good Samaritan came over, tackled him, and held him for us. Right. And he's, the victim's right here the whole time. So he right. picks up his necklace and stands there, watches the guy being held until we got here. Yeah, we're uh, en route to a uh, stolen motor vehicle. It's been uh, located on one of our interstates going south. She's about uh, 200 yards behind you. She's behind me. Right, there's a car coming up on your left side right now. Yep. Passing you on the left. Yep. Control 7, Baker. I'm directly behind the vehicle now. Control 7, Baker, go ahead and give me a red. I already have a red. Uh, units are covering. 7, Baker, there is a code red. Are you taking them down at the off ramp? Seven bigger. I'm going to wait until it turns on the Tropicana. There's a little bit too much traffic right here. Lane, take them out at the, or take it down at the red light here. Right, copy. On the westbound uh, Tropicana, head industrial. Occupants in the vehicle, don't move. Driver, step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Turn away. Turn away from me. Hands in the air. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Hands in the air. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Stop. Go down on one knee. Go down on the other knee. Go down on your stomach. Cross your ankles. You guys clear the vehicle first. Clear the vehicle. I'll just bring her to my car if you don't mind. Right over here. Come here. What's your name? What are you on parole for? Stolen vehicle. Okay. Stolen vehicle. Yeah. All right. But the other one wasn't like this. I stole it with the screwdriver. And you just drove away with this. How do you know this guy? How'd you meet this guy? He picked me up. Picked you up where? Eastern and Cedar, and he took me to a hotel room. Okay. And I, and I walked Were you just walking the street or something? Well, I was walking get the bus to come home, but that book took me to the to the hotel room and I took off with the stuff because I wasn't going to go in there with him. Okay, so you're admitting to me basically you know you stole the vehicle? Yes. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have you, uh, do you have anything on you, anything, uh, any weapons, anything in your bra or anything like that? Uh, do you know about? Can I put her in a car? Put her in my car. 
All right, the owner's here too, so he wants to press charges. So we're gonna go talk to him real quick too. Be honest with me, okay? You asked her to rent a hotel for a few hours. I asked. I asked for her. Okay. We start drinking. We start having sex. Okay. And uh, she told me, you know, uh, take me home because it's too late. Mm -hmm. I went, drove for for the front office. I left my keys. I went inside. I gave okay. this guy the key. Okay. So when you came out of the office, she was gone. Yeah. Do you think she was scared or something? Why do you think she did that? I'm going to leave you in here for a little while longer. The windows are rolled down. What happened that made you want to take his truck? Just took me to a hotel and that was it. Who are these other guys that are in the truck with you? I just went by and picked them up. They don't know nothing. They didn't Did they, do you know them? Yeah, I know them. You know them pretty good? Well, Did they know they were in a stolen vehicle? No. Have you been drinking or you have you been doing drugs tonight? I've been drinking and drugs. Well, I wasn't going to do it until I got home. But you do have some? Yeah. Just hang tight, OK? Like a little marijuana there. And here it is. Hey. Yeah, there's probably methamphetamine right here. A small amount. Ma'am, I just letting you know you're under arrest, okay? And you're being charged with uh, possession of controlled substance, methamphetamine, and marijuana, and possession of a uh, stolen vehicle. Right now we have uh, supposedly like a stolen vehicle in progress. But uh, I guess they returned the vehicle, and now he's in a fight with the person that stole the vehicle. It's kind of real vague right now, but we got officers on the scene just arriving, so we're just going to go ahead and further back him up, see what's going on. Hey, I'll see if they call through and get one. 621. Which way they go? Which corner? Which corner over here? You deal with them now. You don't just take my car for a ride. You don't just take my car. You start running from you guys? Yeah. I, I don't I don't run. I will see the car. Don't worry about anything here, he has on his face, I did it to him. Okay. I'll stay right over here for a second. We'll be right back. No. That's why we ended up catching the way over there. So I was I'll tell the, the police, okay? I don't know my So what exactly happened with your part? I pulled up, I saw him and our victim. They were standing right here. They saw me. Then uh, he ran northbound. So I took my car, pulled it around to cut him off. Basically, when he went to go to the wall, I grabbed his hand. He went on the other side, but I had a hold of his hands over the wall and just put my taser on the other side and just told him, hey, I'm going to tase you, blah, blah, blah. Good and job. Then, uh, just pulled him back over the wall. You know what happened? I will see the car. I tried to make a yoke in my boat. I, I, don't, I don't run. You want to tell us what happened? Sir, I really, my, my eye is trying to... Do you need medical attention, sir? For me, I'm asking you. I see the car, I try to, you know, he's a fancy guy, you know, he got a nice car. I'm like, wait, no, I'll play a joke, you okay. know. I see the car, I run around the corner. Okay. I come back, he's like screaming, like, uh, ah, my car. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you a question real quick. It's not my car. Let me ask I you know. a question. Hey, That's me... illegal, I know. Okay. Are you on any medications? No. How come you took it then? Because it's a nice car? No, because I, I tried to play a joke. You don't know him, but you just wanted to play a joke on him because yeah. he's got a nice car? I know. I'm very stupid. OK. All right. I think it. I run the car around the corner. I know. I'm going to you. That's it. OK. Got it? Cool. Sir, this is your car? Yeah. OK. Can you tell me what exactly happened? OK. Uh, all right. We went out on a date. I just wanted to you know, walk her to the door. So I left the car, leave the car, the, I left the keys in it. So, uh, you no, know, I came in for just a second, make sure she was okay. As I walk out, the car is gone. So, you know, as I was calling Metro, he gets back and he stops it right there. And of course, I pulled him out of the car and I started beating the crap out of him. So, how come you left your car do... running, bro? I didn't leave it running. I, 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 I was just in. saying, well, you're walking to the girl at the door, usually park it. Oh, hell yeah, from going inside. You know what I mean? 
from now on. All right. I appreciate your help. Your help. I mean, how many cars do we have? Five, six. I'll oh, just make sure. Are you okay, man? Do you need medical? Did he hit yeah, you at all? I'm good. Yeah, he hit me, but. Okay, you are. Cool. All right, man. All right. Well, what we got here is, you know, a guy was on a date and you know went to park the car and he didn't want to park it all the way, so he uh, went in, was had his mind on the girl and. Left his car unlocked and uh, with the keys in it, it almost got stolen. That's what happens when you get your uh, girl on your mind too much. What if somebody got in your car and took your car? I'd do the same thing. Would you be upset? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. So you understand why what's going on right now? Yeah, I understand. Okay. Well, you're gonna go to jail for uh, Grand Lodge Seattle, okay? Yeah. All right, go ahead and have a seat in here for me, sir. Watch your head for me. Go ahead. How come you did it, man? Please, man. Because I'm stupid. Because you're stupid? Yeah. We're going to be uh, arriving. A gentleman broke into somebody's house and called the owner of the home, said he's waiting inside for her to arrive with a shotgun. We're going to get here and make sure that we can stop some, somebody from getting shot. Here's advising the residence is single story with brown brick. Wow, the residence is the no, we didn't. Yeah, we, we, we know you said it was okay going, but we don't, we don't want to start kicking doors in. Yeah, so um, he's at his house right now, but he broke in my window, I guess, and he broke my house phone. And then when he saw you guys coming, he left. What kind of car does your boyfriend drive? Oh. <laughs> Is that him? Hello? Hey. I just got home. Yeah. I had left to look. Well, I'm home. I don't know. I just drove fast. You know what? Why did you break into my house? Oh, damn. Come on, speaker. Where does he live at? Do you know his address? I, I know where it is. Why don't you go ahead and show us the apartment real quick? Yeah. All right, we cleared the residence over here, and he's not in there, but there is a warrant out for his arrest, and we figured out where his address is. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't knock on his door and see if he'll answer it, and we'll put him under arrest. I ain't heard anything in the back. Hey, swing to the door. Hi. Is Will home? What did I do? Come here. Oh. Come here. Turn around and face the wall. Oh. Thanks. Have a good night. Oh. Hi. You have a warrant you for your arrest. You have a warrant for my arrest? Yes, yeah. sir. What am I being arrested well, well, for? You have a warrant. You have a warrant for your arrest. What okay. did I do? Well, first of all, I was you, sleeping. You have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. You her do? Name, her name is Rihanna. Yeah. And, and where does she live? Yeah, I'm sure you guys already know that. I'm yeah, and we were already there. Yeah, because so, so cause what, what, what happened the night? Here? Oh, man. You were in her house. Let's her start with that. Her, her window was open. It I, doesn't matter. You know what, I just, I just went know, in and called her, and, then, well, she, and, then, and then I left. You know what? We're not going to worry about that right now. You have a three thousand dollar warrant for battery domestic violence. Battery domestic violence. Nope. Yep. I didn't even. No. Do on top. On top of that. Okay. Oh my goodness. You went over. You went over to the house. Fuck. You called her from her house phone, told her that you're in waiting in her home with a shotgun, and then no, you decided. I did not. You, okay. So then, why are you calling your girlfriend up in the first place, telling her that you're in her place and you got a shotgun? I didn't say I had a shotgun. I don't yeah, know you did. A shotgun. You were in there. Guess but what? That's a crime. I was just angry at her. Yeah. Well, and destroying her property. That's a crime too. And you don't talk about guns because when you start you start mentioning guns, police come and we bring bigger, badder, better guns. I know you do. She told me to meet at her house. I was there. I sat out there for her house for about half an hour, and then I saw her window. Was you know, open. You know what we call that? We call that stalking. Well, she told me to go to her house. No, she didn't. She was out with her friends, having a wonderful evening by herself without you. Go ahead and have a seat real quick. Who's the people that live in your house? What are their names? Uh, like in... Nathan. Nathan. All right, I'm just gonna knock on the door and ask for him. All right. Can I have a shirt, too? A shirt? Yeah, we'll try and rustle one up for you. All right, cool. Yo, do, you, do you even own a shotgun? Huh? Do you even own a shotgun? Yeah, but they're not in my house. Where are they at? They're at my dad's house in North Carolina. <laughs> so did you tell her you had one today? Yeah, I did. You did just try and scare her or what? 
Yeah, pretty much. It was stupid. Good things is that you didn't know you had a warrant. Now you get to take care of that or argue your side in court. And then the other thing is, you know, nobody got hurt in this, okay? And you're not getting any other any other charges. So I'm just, getting, you, take, I'm just getting taken in for a warrant? For a warrant, that's it. But if you would have taken care of things with your girlfriend a little bit differently, then we wouldn't be here. We would never even knock on your door, all right? So that's pretty much the only lesson I, I hope you learned tonight.